to the Linux Punic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at using the Termux Android app to be able to install and use various software on a Android phone. But before we continue, I would like to thank my channel members. Those are Mr. Von Garden as well as Miss Love. I'd like to thank you very much. Uh, you can join them and support me for a little as £2 a month, where you get a little badge next to your name that says you are better than other people. Anyway, let's get into the video. So, this is a terminal emulator, where it's, it's a bit more than an emulator, it is a proper terminal with installation all built in. So the first thing that we're going to do, of course, is install NeoFetch, because why wouldn't we? So the first thing we want to do is do package, search, NeoFetch, just to see if we can access it which in this case, uh, it is there. So we're just going to do control C. Then we're going to do package install NeoFetch. NeoFetch. There we go. So what this is doing is it's just going through and checking the mirrors to see if it's accessible, which it is. And now it's grabbing NeoFetch. Uh, possible wrong calls, um, metadata cannot be verified, repository is disabled now, possible cause is under maintenance. So, how we can fix this, how we should be able to fix this, is do uh, package install, uh, install, have a type correctly, install root repo. Which should then give us, should then do that. That is a progress bar that we're all used to by now. As we can see, possible cause, repository is under maintenance or down. So it's once again having issues with more and more. So we can do an upgrade to first uh, package up to make sure we are actually up to date first. So package upgrade. Now that we've done that, uh, as we can see, it is having access, it's having issues accessing things. So, first things, first things, well, what, sh what we should do is just do ping uh, 1.1.1.1. As we can see here, we get a varied response time. And we get an average response time of 56 milliseconds. So we are indeed connected to the internet, as we can see in the top right. So what this appears to be is a networking issue. So termuxmentality.rip. So that appears to be not accessible. So let's do a, another search. Working with packages. Let's search for NeoFetch again. Package. Search. NeoFetch. Uh, now I've realized that I've accidentally spelt my wrong. Neo fetch. Fetch. There we go. Okay, so what we want to do now, there we go, is we want to do uh, go reinstall Neo fetch. So, package install Neo fetch. There we go. So, took a little while. But as I promised you guys, I would show you the errors as well as the functional just so you can see it is actually working so here we have here is it is a samsung 13 the os is the at uh, the operating system is android 13 running on a samsung galaxy note 20 plus uh with 61 packages we've just installed it's been my phone's been on for nine hours and apparently it's using four out of its eight gig of ram which is strange but there we go android phone now more tools to install such as uh, git so install git and then go from there so this should be uh, this should then give us the ability to run well download app, git applications so to do that we will do git clone uh, https clone slash slash github.com Help if I github.com slash Nick Matthews 
dash one uh, slash wine stable, for example. And now if we do ls, and then cd into wine stable, and ls again, well, ls again, L -at, ls, there we go. As we can see, there is my active and working repositories. So this does come with a fair amount of tools. We can subscribe to additional repositories. So we will now do the uh, unstable repo. So it's just gonna be package install Unstable repo. <laughs> Package install unstable repo. And this will then give us access to the uh, non non standard uh, packages, following packages we have upgraded apt. So that there suggests to me uh, that uh, this is actually running off a Debian based operating system, so um, uh, N capital N. So, I want to do apt hyphen hyphen version. Uh, cannot look executable apt, cannot look at symbol. So, it is there, it's just having a moment with us. Um, but as we can see, apt is set up, set up and installed. So, I want to do apt get update or apt update. So it can't well it can't link the executable, which is it is what it is. So just cd ls 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 hyphen la cd. I tell you what, nano dot config. As we can see, .config is directory, but nano is installed by default. We haven't installed that. Control X, and we want to do cd.config. Config. ls. ls. We'll cd into NeoFetch. Now, this is actually functioning better than, well, NeoFetch is functioning better on mobile. Than it, than it does on Windows, which is hilarious. So we can just have a quick look at the config. So config.conf, just hit the tab button, hit enter. And we've got lines. So let's just uh, come down to GPU driver whilst we can. Let's, let's do a funny and come down to GPU driver. I said, let's do a funny and come down to GPU driver. Okay, so I would like to be able to move across lines. Or not, okay, that's fine. Okay, or not, that's fine. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. So, yeah, you, you, get the, you get the idea, it's... Everything that it, that should be here is here. It's just a slight bit annoying that I can't actually uh, see it properly. So on here, enter, control, X, Y, enter, and then NeoFetch. I say NeoFetch. And here we go. There, there should be a memory percentage here, but because I'm not in a um, landscape aspect, uh, it's not showing it. But it is there. As we can see, it is, well, it's working. But anyway, um, this is how to use Termux. I'll leave a link to this app in the description. So if you have an Android device, you can use this as well. Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.